So I'd like to start by talking a bit about the notion of a partite graph, a bipartite or k-partite graph, which gives another perspective on the notion of colorability. We say that a graph is bipartite, so definition, G is bipartite, if we can find um, a way of decomposing the set of vertices into two disjoint sets, um, so if we can find um, some subsets of vertices, P1 and P2 in the set of vertices, such that, well, they should be everything, so we're breaking it up into these two disjoint sets, and they shouldn't bump into each other, they should be disjoint, such that the only edges we have in the graph connect vertices in different parts. So no two vertices in P1 should be connected to each other. No two things in P2 should be connected to each other. The only edges we're allowed to have should cross between vertices in P1 and P2. So we could say that by saying such that um, if you have a pair of vertices, V and W and PI, for I being one or two, then because they're in the same part, they're, they can't be uh, adjacent are not adjacent. Let's take a look at that uh, in an example. So here I've drawn a graph G, and we can see that if I break the set of vertices up into these ones in the orange bubble and in these other ones in the purple bubble, then no two orange vertices are adjacent to each other and no two purple ones are adjacent to each other. The only edges I have here go between the orange and the purple. Now, as you can see, there might be more than one way to do this. So um, I could uh, just as well have made my purple bubble all the way uh, encapsulating this vertex and had my orange bubble to be this guy over here. And again, we have the same property. No two purple guys are adjacent uh, and no two uh, orange guys are adjacent. So this is a bipartite graph, and it's, you might say it's bipartite for two different reasons. I mean, to say that it's bipartite just means that there is some way of making this decomposition, but there might be more than one way of doing it in general. So the notion of k-partite should come as no surprise. We say that a graph is k-partite if we can find um, some subsets of the set of vertices such that um, the union of all of them, i equals one to k of these pi, is the whole vertex up, um, and um, they're mutually disjoint. Pi intersect Pj is empty, all i not equal to j, um, such that, as before, um, if you have a pair of vertices in one of the given Pi's, um, then V and W can't be adjacent. So um, this is a, just the same kind of notion here. Let me just draw a, a easy example of a tripartite or a three-partite graph. We might, where, uh, so my parts are gonna be this one, just to um, skip the punchline, I'll have these three parts. And to say that it's k-partite means the only edges I'm allowed to draw have to go between um, different, um, have to go different between these different parts. I'm not allowed to have uh, two orange ones connected. That would be a no-no. Uh, not allowed to have the two red ones connected. So this is an example of a three-partite or tripartite graph. And now uh, to tie this up with the chromatic number, let's just make a, a very easy observation. Observation, um, G is um, K colorable. So there's a way to assign the vertices with colors such that adjacent vertices have different colors, uh, if and only if um, G is um, K partite. To say, um, you know, and the, the proof is really just that the definitions are actually the same if you think about it. I mean, to, uh, if you look at this three partite graph, really the, the point was that I can, um, that I can assign these vertices um, colors, blue, 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 um, red, 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 and orange, 
such that um, adjacent vertices are forced to have different colors. So the fact that you are, so it really the definition of being partite of these parts uh, coincides with the definition of colors. A graph is colorable if you can assign them different colors, read parts, such that things of the same color, read same part, can't be adjacent, which is the definition that we just did. Okay, so that is uh, just another perspective on the notion of colorability.